sorry if the lighting isn't the best. I'm in my craft room and it has been raining today. So it's kind of cloudy and what is the lighting is what is in the windows and the lights I have. I have a, um, it's weird whenever I talk to the camera and I can't like look at it. So uh, I'll probably do my intro and then do the bow. But I have a craft um, group on Facebook and one of the girl, my dogs are scrapped. One of the girls on there um, requested that I do how I do my two um, deal, what is it, two co duo color cheer bows. Um, if you didn't know, I make bows. I have another bow tutorial and I will leave it in the comments. It's just a basic cheer bow. If you want to see like boutique style bows, I also can do those. But the cheer bows, because my daughter's in cheer and all that, has been super popular. And I don't think um, I made these boutique style bows. They're, uh, they're pigtail bows, so there's two of them. And the girl, one of the girls that watches my uh, videos, is, these are for her daughter. So, yes. Um, and I'm going to give them to her tomorrow, so I'll put the clips and stuff on those today. But um, yes, so today we're going to be doing the, how I do the two colors, and I'm gonna put Aubrey's initials on the white. I probably won't do it on camera. Um, if you wanna see Cricut tutorials, um, if you wanna see Cricut tutorials, let me know. Leave a comment down in the, the description box. I'm. I learn something new every day about my Cricut, so yeah. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I, part of it will be here, and then I gotta turn the camera around so you can see me ironing on what I do. Um, so 30, you need 30 inches, I do 30 inches, for a regular cheer bow, so you cut that in half, so you'll need 15. I'm gonna cut this. And I do plan on doing a craft room tour because I did just go through my craft room and kind of organize my stuff. So I just, you like my nice new mat? Set the side of the iron on my mat and so I had to go buy me another one because it was all, my old one was all like beveled and all right, so 15 inches. I always do a little bit extra. Okay, so I guess I should tell you what you will need in this. I have a trash can below me, so. Um, what you will need in the for the bows to get started. We're just gonna measure. Usually, I stiffen my bows pre where I put starch on them, but it's not that big of a deal. They work a little bit better, yes, but whatever. Anyway, okay. So I want the I want it to be I want this side over here because then it would be more so straight, I would think. Does that make sense? This makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna switch it. Okay, so, all right, so you kind of overlap it, you gotta seal. So you need a lighter, scissors, your ribbon, and then this is double-sided tape that you iron I always iron mine on. So yes, and then starch. My starch is over there by my iron. And you're gonna need an iron, obviously. And I feel like I'm saying iron well, weird, but can't smile at the camera whenever it's not facing on the Ashley. So we're just gonna heat seal those edges. 
Let's measure this about three inches. I always go, there's like the seam on the ends. And then I just put that and cut it right about like my smaller scissors. Oh, and you'll need a zip tie. Just for getting everything. And then your ribbon to cover your, and then whatever clip you use, I use um, um, French barrettes. Kind of just all over the place. I just got back from grocery shopping, so. All right, so that is down. So it's like double-sided tape. And we're going to turn the camera around and iron this together. Okay, so if you can see my tool for my wreath that I'm going to make soon. I just have a Black & Decker Classic Iron. I love it. It works a lot better. So we're going to iron this out a little bit. This is the starch I use, the blue can. So, like I said, I starch mine. I iron mine just because it's quicker. And then I always rake off the extra because it leaves flakes. And no, I did not heat seal my other side of my ribbon on this side and this side. I'll wait to do that at the end. Stiffen this a little bit more. Whenever I am uh, making these with initials on them or whatever on the loop right here I always um, fold it and I kind of measure it and I measure from the center because then I fold it in half when it's one color okay so I'll fold it in half and find the center point So I'd fold it in half, find the center point, which is, you know, obviously right here because I split this in half. So yes, then you go and find the center point and I measure from the center point to right here, this point, and it should be three and a half inches on both sides. And that's where, and then I iron that down. That way I have a point. And then that's where I know to lay my, whatever I'm putting here. So, and then I don't put the tail one on until after I'm completed doing the bow. That's like one of the last things I do. So yeah, just a little tip on that. Now we're gonna flip around. Um, I freehand mine. I said that in the other. Um, I have a bunch of different sizes here. These are, you can get them at Dollar Tree. I kind of prefer the smaller ones. That's what I'm trying to find right now. This, like the smaller, and then they've got the bigger. It just depends on what you like. Um, I have my French barrettes here. My French barrette. I don't know what I'm gonna use for the center yet. Okay, so I just slide this under here. I kind of go back, I kind of go into detail more so on my other bow tutorial. Like I said, I'll leave it linked below. Um, but I always just kind of, Aubrey's going to be excited because I'm put, she's got a turquoise bow now. This like literally matches her room perfectly. Okay, so I tighten it up and then I see where, obviously this is like your center point, so you kind of have a guide 
Twisted Boutique bows, I still fold mine and use my guide. So I always fold mine up. Technically I flip it over. Um, so I fold them and see if like, you know, any, the loops are off. Usually they are that it's, that's pretty good. So I pull this back and I fold these down. Don't be afraid to like take your time. There is no rush, I promise. Pull these up, pull this down. It's kind of a, you know, I know you're gonna see that, but this clip will probably cover it. So, I mean, you know what I mean? This, you can always hot glue that down as well. Hot glue saves the world, I'm telling you guys. So then, you know, I'm still measuring, pulling these down just a little at a time. Because if I wouldn't do that, something would have been off. So then you look at it and see what you think. It's pretty even. Like I said, I'm gonna put Aubrey's initials on it, on the tail right here. And I will starch it again because it is a little floppy. And I um, clip mine into place after, while I starch mine. So I kind of feel like this white part. Okay. All right. So like with any other bow, I clip this off. Sorry, I feel like my allergies are bothering me. I swear, every time I'm on camera, I always fold that down and cut it because, guys, if it's gonna happen to me, it'll happen. It's, I mean, if you know what I mean. Like, if I don't fold that down, I'm gonna cut the ribbon in half. I, I, just, I promise. Oh, and you need your hot glue gun. If you didn't know that already. So I just set that, see where I want it placed. And then I, um, the Gorilla hot glue is the hot glue I prefer. Yep, and I'm super jumpy. Um, yeah, I prefer the Gorilla glue. And I just, you can even, you know, put your loops how you like them on when you put your clip on. And I should have took the the thingy out. The was the this thing should have took out it out before I did anything. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this down. Like I said. The frogs are, I can hear the frogs chirping outside. Not the birds this time. All right, so there's that. Okay. I'm gonna go get my, I think the black is gonna be the one I like. Um, this is how I have been having my ribbon stored. But since I got my Cricut and I get those, um, the tubes that the vinyl comes in, I just use it instead. So I just cut off a piece. I, I don't really measure. You know, we're being honest here. So I heat seal one side. You can use a ponio too. That's a lot of cheer bows are like that. Um, with our girls, we like to use the, the French barrette because it's a lot easier. 
to do their hair and then and put the clip in but it's just whichever suits you see I still feel like this one side is way bigger than the other Sometimes I think it's just myself. No, it's not. See, look. It is way off. I don't understand why, because I measured it. Guys, I'm telling you. Took that off, measured it again. Okay. Thankfully, I think. All right. So with this, I don't know if I want to do a new barrette because I can reuse this once this drew got this drew got. Oh my goodness! This glue dries. <sighs> It'll come off easier once it dries. Okay, so we're going to want to. Why, whenever I put, put this barrette on here, it like pulling a little bit out. As soon as I put the barrette on here, like the white shrinks. Know what it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Hey guys, you know, hot glue is hot. Actually, I feel like the tails are pretty even. But the, I don't know what it is with this. This makes me so mad. Anyway, it could just be me, like I said. I don't know. Makes me want to start all over. All right. I can salvage this bow. It's just needing the weight for the glue to dry. <sighs> I promise, usually I don't have this trouble. Okay, we're starting all over.
phrase here, so I'm going to go ahead and heat Silly's back. like to try and measure and have them, you know, somewhere in here. So, actually like this one over. Trust your eye. I'm going to go in with a bigger zip tie or a wider zip tie this time. You know, whenever you have it laid down, then you gotta put the zip tie on. Okay, so the turquoise is super big, so we're gonna adjust that. I always try to just slowly go and tighten and adjust because like what happened earlier, I've just learned to just mess with it, get it perfect, make sure everything is even 20 different ways. that the white is a little bit more floppier than the turquoise color. Oh my goodness. Today is not the day for me to be making bows. It's almost like making bread. It has to be just right. This is why I like doing mine backwards because I don't like having them facing frontwards because I just can't get it right if you know what I mean. Okay, so doing this. Some people use thread. I mean, I must, maybe I just need to kind of adopt that. I think I've tried and I just didn't like it. Okay, now we're gonna measure. I just don't like how small the loops are. So once again, we're going to measure. I started making twisted boutique bows they always said one side was always going to be longer than the other well same with you know cheer bows one loop was is always longer than the other it seems like okay Fold those down. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is like the third or fourth time I've made this today, it feels like. Okay. I'm a perfectionist, so that doesn't help my situation either. So, alright. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. Oh, 
hopefully I don't regret it. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. I don't want to have to use another one, so. this below there. You can kind of shape up your stuff. My freaking dogs are going crazy. I don't know what it is with me today. I came out of Walmart because I went and got groceries today and had a flat tire. I was like, really? So I went and got my tire fixed. Oh my goodness. Okay. I hope I'm giving y'all entertainment today. Yep. And I've got to make a Halloween costume after this. I'm pretty sure that video will be up after this one. So be on the lookout because if you're getting entertainment out of this, I'm sure you're going to find entertainment in that dishwasher where my washing machine is done drying. Or yeah, that's my dryer. Yay, I have clean clothes. I've been putting off doing my laundry. I think you technically only need like six inches of this, but like I said, I just eyeball it. You know me, no matter if I measure, triple measure, quadruple measure, check something four times, it still will be messed up. So it's just easier if I just wing it. And then it makes it a little bit more fun, I guess. Hot blue off, you know. Hot glue is just a cute little accessory. All right. So this is what we've got so far. Right? All right. Tails seem to be about even. Fold in half, cut up towards the, the hoop or loop or whatever you call it, the hump, I don't know. Heat seal that. And always heat seal ASAP because if I don't, it sh it'll start fraying. My dogs are jumping up on the window in the bath, uh, the bathroom, the kitchen. Looks like that. Okay, anyway, so I take my clips here. Let me get some. So I take these, clean up my station. Take these. How many times am I going to say, hey guys, you, you take the clips? So you clip them together. Like so. What movie is that off of? You fold them together like so. Alright. I don't watch too many movies. Last night we had family movie night because it's Wednesday and we have sports. We watch Tocus Pocus. Alright, so I put my clips like that and then I'm going to spray it. So I'm going to flip you around. 
So I take my handy dandy starch and I just spray. And I flip it over, spray the back. Okay, and then I let it sit till it's dry. So I probably let it sit for an hour or, you know, till I, you know, or I just let it sit until I remember that I made a bow. You guys haven't noticed yet. I keep it so real on my channel, it's not even funny. There's a few things that I won't talk about on my channel, but most things, no. All right, so I'm just gonna set this over in the window seal. I've got a, like I said, I've got a few other um, crafts I gotta make on camera. I might make this wreath actually on camera. Okay, so we're just All right, so. If you guys like this video and you want to see more bow videos, make sure you leave a comment. And you, if you haven't already and you want to, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you and have you join our tribe. So, yeah. I usually do cleaning. Well, actually, I haven't done very many cleaning videos because my husband's at home. And when he's home, I can't really clean because... I like to be alone and clean by myself. I don't know if that's weird or what, but being alone and cleaning, yeah. So, yes, I do cleaning videos usually, and then I do mommy videos, day in the lives, and some crafts. I'm slowly getting into the craft videos just because when I craft, it's not as cute as it is on Pinterest and stuff like that. It's literally chaos. The bow thing, I handled it so well because it literally happens like that all the time. So I'm gonna get in and get this Halloween costume made. So I will get, see you guys in the next one. Bye.